In Las Vegas, you might meet that special someone, whether you're riding the gondola at the Venetian or mud wrestling. Either way, it's easy to make the union official. Today, I'm going down to the Viva Las Vegas Wedding Chapel to experience one of the city's trademark themed weddings. I can't believe there isn't one for Norbit. set up the wedding, you sew the dress, you no. carry the bride out for the groom if he's not strong enough. No, we don't do all that. You built all these benches with your bare hands. This is the outdoor gazebo, um, one of our most popular uh, gazebos or packages that we offer. Live webcam is usually set up right there. So strangers are watching you right now? Not at the moment. We don't turn it on until the exact time of the ceremony, for that reason exactly. This is the 50s diner. We use this for small receptions and um, actual ceremonies, Elvis ceremonies. Everything in uh, here everything, is the 50s. Yes. Computers were surprisingly small in the 50s. They were. They really haven't done a lot in terms of technology. You're right. A lot of kids uh, and come here because the, the stress their parents put on them to have this traditional big wedding back home but they come here because we take the stress out of that. Are you going to do another decade theme place? You could do like an 80s diner? You could have White Snake playing and <laughs> like some Journey posters. No, nah, I think we got to wait, wait a few de decades for that to, to come back in. It's the final countdown. Do you, sir, take this woman to be your lawfully battled wife on the <laughs> battlefield? <laughs> of course I'll take you to be my wife, Anne. You can conceive, right? Yes. You're lying. And then just beheaded. <laughs> From now on, I'll ride your broomstick. I can't believe people think there's something homoerotic about Roman gladiators. Happy birthday, Mr. President. We have the stage, we have the fog, we're, we're going to have the music, we're all good to go. Ah, uh, I believe, Joseph, you've forgotten one crucial element. Oh, the costume, we're going to go get that. Mm. No. No, the bride, your corpse bride, where is she? Oh. I have yet to see uh, a woman here. Hold, hold on, hold on. Will you marry me? No, I'm sorry. No, for sure not. We could get it annulled afterwards. No, thanks. Why did you say no? Is it because I'm white? And how much money do you have? For you? For me. You can't put a price on love. <laughs> what theme wedding would you want to do? Um, I would actually personally want to do a princess theme, because <laughs> we are all princesses and we deserve to be treated like them. <laughs> well, would you be? Would you go for that? No, I think that's stupid. I'm not quite the gothic type. I'm wearing pink today. How about if it was a Nintendo wedding? You could be Princess Peach and I'd be Mario. Princess Peach? I don't know Nintendo. You have a lake house, huh? Yeah, I do. Is it big? And she's from Chicago, so it works for me. Is it big? You guys are meant to be. I think you're meant to be. And you're from Chicago, right? Right. You just got tonight. Well, I guess that's everybody. Unless... America, would you, sorry, America, would you marry me? <gasps> Death takes a holiday as we celebrate the wedding vows of Joseph and America. With this ring. With this accursed ring of the macabre. I thee wed. I, the festering black soul, wed. I give you this ring. I give you this accursed ring. As a token and a pledge. As a token and a dark tarantula-like pledge. Then, by the power vested in me by death itself, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss 
your beautiful bride, America. <laughs> So, did I get hitched? Joseph, you not only got hitched, but you are forever bound. Death, you are the best. Enjoy yourself. Oh. Sorry, I have a habit of doing that. Hi, America. Why don't you come in the water? It's nice and warm. Come on, America. If we're one in the graveyard, we're one in the hot tub. America! America!